baseball is considered America's national pastime, but it's not the most popular sport here in Israel at all. But that could soon change. Israel is sending a team to the Olympics in Tokyo, and they could come home with a medal. Let's catch up with the team's catcher, Tal Arel. Do Israelis even know the difference between a strikeout and a stolen base? Uh, no, to be honest, they don't even know what baseball is um, as a sport. Um, that's kind of what we're trying to do. We're trying to grow the game here in Israel, but hopefully now after the Olympics, the sport will get exposure and will be available for everyone to understand. I mean, it's fair to say it's not a popular sport in Israel, but you are going to the Olympics in this sport. Is that an opportunity for you? Uh, definitely, it's an opportunity for me personally uh, to develop, but it, more importantly, it's uh, for the Israel Association of Baseball to develop. Um, this organization has been growing in Israel for the past 35 years. Um, it really hasn't been getting many funds, many exposure, but hopefully now this is the time that it will get, it will attract a lot of kids, and hopefully we'll grow the game and the sport that I love uh, as much, and hopefully the kids will join in as well. What do you tell Israelis, your friends, who think that baseball is boring, they don't understand it? I mean, look, with soccer, it's nonstop action. They don't, they think yeah. baseball's too slow. Yeah, so growing up, all my friends used to go down and play soccer, and I had to either take a bus for 45 minutes or take trains all the way to uh, Baptist Village for a couple hours a day, and they'll be like, why are you spending your time in a sport that's not developed uh, but they never understood uh, my passion about it. But I sometimes used to bring them uh, to practices and then they're like, whoa, I've actually never thought this was as fun as uh, much as you say it was. But um, well, how did you get into it? I mean, you're born in Israel. I mean, you were you're born in this country. How do you get into baseball? Um, so I was born here when I was six. I, my family relocated to Miami. That's how I started playing baseball as any other kid. And when I was 10, uh, my family moved back here. And I didn't want to move back because there's no baseball in Israel. Who knew about it? So my dad Googled actually baseball in Israel, and he found this uh, wonderful association. Um, and that's pretty much where I grew up and where my career developed from. Uh, talk to me about the Olympics. I mean, the Olympics requires that every athlete actually be a citizen of that country, a full-fledged citizen. So this team is a lot of former big leaguers, great baseball players. They're Jewish Americans mostly, right? Correct. So a lot of um, it's a fact that a lot of the players weren't born in Israel or grew up in the organization, but they were eligible for citizenship in the country of Israel based on their roots. Um, and that's kind of the path that the Israel Association of Baseball um, tried to test out to see if it could raise exposure and it could um, get us into the big tournaments. And successfully it did. We did have a long path. We started off in the B pool of Europe and we had to uh, win four different tournaments and only only to qualify to the Olympics. Um, so now, bringing them to Israel, it did contribute a little They're bit. citizens. A lot of these, these are Jewish Americans. They're citizens of Israel now. Yes, they're all citizens. They all came here for the last three years until all the way to uh, a year ago. They got their citizenship, they got their passport, and they're more than excited to uh, represent the country and come here to develop it. But are you like the only guy who speaks fluent Hebrew on the team? No, we, we have uh, several guys that actually grew up um, in the organization here, but a lot of them did have their bar mitzvah, they have their Jewish roots. So it's kind of, uh, they're bringing uh, themselves more closer to Judaism and uh, to the country of Israel. Are the Olympics in Tokyo, I mean, baseball is a sport that has six nations competing. Statistically, right, that's a 50% chance of coming up, coming away with, with a medal. I mean, the odds are not bad. What do you think your chances are? Um, so as this is a, a COVID year, no one really expected um, what is going to happen. We, tr we truly don't have any expectations. We're, the only thing we're going to be focusing on is um, being ourselves and uh, competing the best we got. We can't compare ourselves to other teams. Um, higher rankings, better Yeah, you've teams. beaten higher rankings. I mean, the South Koreans are considered a medal favorite. You've already beaten them. In of the course, it's, uh, it, it's baseball. Um, a, any uh, New York Yankees team can lose to the, any Little League team. It's just that's uh, how the game is played. But like I said, we're just going to focus on ourselves in order to um, come in the best shape we can. And hopefully we will be able to get a medal and we're aiming for the gold. What are you most excited about, besides the competition, besides being on the baseball field, about being an Olympian, about being in Tokyo? Um, I don't think it's actually settled in with all that's going on, but once we're going to be there, of course, uh, it's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, pretty much unanswered questions that you don't know what to expect. Um, but I, I think once we will be on the field, we'll kind of uh, 
think back to our roots and the long path that this organization have been through and just play the moment and just enjoy every moment of it. And six teams, three medals up for grabs, you hope? Hopefully walk away with a medal? Yeah, yeah, hopefully uh, we're gonna play as, as best as we can. We have a really good team, we're confident. Um, we're gonna have uh, training camps uh, prior to the tournament yeah. and we're gonna show what Israel's about. Uh, uh, incredible stuff. You're a catcher. Uh, what makes your game special, do you think? I mean, you, is it the way that you could call the pitches? Is it your, your arm strength, the fact you're a switch hitter? What makes your game unique? Um, so a catcher itself is, he's pretty much um, affiliated with any pitch, every, every uh, play that's, current, uh, that's going on in the game. Yeah. But you really have a big impact on the game. You're the only player, the only position player that sees the whole field. So you do call a lot of the games and uh, it's very humbling to know that you take a big role on the team. Mm. But uh, regardless of whatever team you are in, a lot of players look up to you because they know that you pretty much uh, lead the team and they all listen. And, but with our Olympic team, there isn't a higher player or this guy playing the majors, this guy's in college, but we're all um, one equal team and we're all pretty much in there. Representing Israel. Exactly. All right, catcher Tal Arel with the Israeli national baseball team going to the Olympics. We're gonna do some baseball drills Let's right now. It. I'm gonna get changed. Let's do it. Get some key pieces of advice here from Tal. Tal, what's the most important thing to remember at the plate facing a pitcher? Um, so pretty much is see the ball, hit the ball. It's the most basic rule, but for you, let the ball get in more, keep your hands in, and fall through up the middle. See the ball, hit the ball, let's go. Thanks, Tal.